Are you looking for a way to get rid of LinkedIn Recruiter? Are you looking for ways to maybe just source candidates in general by leveraging LinkedIn? By the end of this video, I'm going to share three strategies that I use and that my clients use to generate and source candidates on LinkedIn with consistency. Now, what I'm about to share with you is the exact same strategies that I've used with Christina Martin, Jessica Shuttleworth, Ben Bonnell, all to help them attract candidates to their business. And for the best online marketing and lead generation advice, specifically for the staffing and recruiting space, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you get notified on my new videos that I roll out every single Wednesday. So LinkedIn, obviously, we don't need to sell you here on why it's a great place to source candidates. But being that it's a great place to source candidates, uh, everybody's using the same strategy. And the main strategy that everyone is using is through LinkedIn Recruiter, which is incredibly expensive. Um, but it's, you know, obviously it's expensive for a reason and it's a tool that works. I'm not here to say that the LinkedIn Recruiter tool doesn't work, but there's also better ways to do it and other ways to do it. So, you know, one of those ways is rather than, you know, one of the things I don't really like about LinkedIn Recruiter is that you get an in-mail and an in-mail, every time I personally receive an in-mail, I know I'm getting either pitched a job or I'm getting sold something. So I think that's always working against. And so I think most there's a lot of other people that have the same feeling as I do, and that's just my story, but the same feeling as I do is, oh, when I see something coming in, I don't wanna be sold right now. So the way to actually open somebody up is actually to connect with them. And so that's the first thing is rather than just sending out cold emails in, and, or, or cold emails to people, um, reach out and connect and add those people to your network. You'll have a much better response from that individual. And then once you actually connect with them, now you've opened up your ability to send them messages through messenger campaigns. And so the first way I recommend is that you follow up and send um, a message at the very least the day after you receive, you connect with them, but don't pitch your job yet, just introduce yourself. And then a couple of days after that, that's when you might want to come into and sell them, you know, on the opportunity, for example. So you know, the next thing that you can do, the next tip is, you know, once you connect with them and you add them to the network and then you start to message and engage with them, don't pitch right away. The next tip is show up different. And what I mean by this is, you know, there's an opportunity to send people videos through LinkedIn very easily. And there's an opportunity now through your phone to send them a voice note. And so a lot of it with being a recruiter, you know, knowing that a lot of your market and, and, and more in some markets than others, but you know, you, you're talking about people that are getting recruited often in some cases. Um, and so how do I cut through the noise? Well, I got to just show up and be different. I got to know, you know, and, and there's a lot of other things that you can work on with your positioning. But ultimately, if you know, if you send a voice note for the, you know, rather than than just sending another generic um, written message, you might get the attention from that prospect. And you might even get, a, you know, at least the response that you're looking for. Um, with video, video is the best thing to do. And one of the tips and one of the things we do um, you know, that my clients do is basically we will uh, record their, um, their LinkedIn profile and we'll send them a video and, and give them a quick little introduction of ourselves. And, you know, who's not going to open up a video that has uh, a picture of them and their LinkedIn profile on it. So um, that's another little cool strategy that you can use. The last one is being willing to, you know, go a little bit more all in on the promotion of um, the, the roles that you have. And, you know, by, by doing more video type of posting. So I know a lot of people will just do a generic post. Hey, you got a new software engineer role in, in California, you know, reach out if you're interested. Um, there's just a lot more opportunity than doing those generic things like that. And video is one of those things that does two things. So first and foremost, it's not so much to source somebody for that specific role. It's just really to build your brand around the type of recruiter you are, and let people to get to know your personality. And if that role is not a fit, they may reach out in the future. Um, you know, it, but what you'll find if you show up with great energy and you do these things consistently is that you're going to get good quality people to reach out to you um, that may or may not be a fit for that specific role, but will be, you know, in other roles. So um, don't, don't, you know, it's, not, it's much different than an ad. This is more of you connecting with your audience by sharing your role, by having ex excitement around your role. And the consistency of that is where people are really going to start to know you as being uh, the expert recruiter in that space if you start to do um, similar type of roles. So those are the three tips that I have that you can do for sourcing on LinkedIn outside of, you know, the traditional in-mail method. So again, just to kind of recap for you, um, you know, really focus on connecting and building your, uh, your network with your, your candidates um, before you, you know, kind of sell them on the job, you know, just send them more of a generic 
uh, connection message and, and, and welcome and thank you, thank you for their message to get their guard down. Um, and then consent in next step was, or next tip was to consider um, using either the LinkedIn messaging feature or the video um, options that are out there and send people video or uh, messages through the phone. And then the last one was going all in on video on the actual platform on the feed to promote the roles that you have. So, hey, if you like this uh, training, make sure that you hop in to the training that I got in the description down below. Um, and if you found any value in this video, I would always appreciate a like or a comment or share. This is Donnie Gupton. We'll see you in the next one.